would so much rather wear Calvin Klein like boy shorts to bed. But sometimes you want to feel a little, you know, like frisky. Also, this is so TMI. Some of y'all need to know. And as I was falling into my bathtub, I hit my head on the side of my bathtub and I fainted. Hey guys, it's Haley Sunny and I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me any questions that you have that are like kind of personal, juicy, girl talk related questions. So a lot of the things that I went through when I was like 13, like just getting into puberty, first relationship questions, stuff that happens to you in high school, I feel like I've gone through a good amount of that stuff so hopefully my advice will be useful and these are just like fun things to talk about with your girlfriend so sit back relax get into some comfy clothes like i did and let's get started and nothing is off limits make sure you follow me on instagram because every time i have a video like this i announce it on there so that you guys can ask me your questions and i always keep it anonymous so you're good the first question i'm insecure about the fact that i never had a boyfriend and i'm afraid that i never will i definitely do consider myself one of those late bloomers like when it comes to relationships and stuff like that i actually didn't even have like my first kiss why am i even doing air quotes so i was in 10th grade and People around me had already like done way more than just kiss somebody. But now I'm 19, it's only been th three years and I'm super comfortable in that aspect of my life. Like I don't feel like I'm behind or I'm ahead of people because truly it is whenever you feel comfortable with those things. I think when you are completely secure in yourself, that's when like you attract the best energy and people see like the light in you. So focus on that. Don't focus on trying to find a boyfriend and you will eventually find somebody that you love that will love you back. This is like a 180. Uh, how do you remove your body hair? I said nothing is off limits, so I'll just be honest. My mom, which was, this was so dumb of her, no offense to my mother. You know those like creams that you like put on your hair and you wait for a few minutes and then you rub it off that's how I started off I was young I was like 13 she didn't want to like scare me with like razors or waxing but that was such a big mistake because the easier the method is to remove your hair the thicker your hair will grow back if I could go back I would definitely recommend waxing but I personally have never gotten like myself waxed down there just because I've always been a scaredy cat and I don't really like having my business up in people's face so I've always shaved recently I've started lasering I am like very new to it so I can't really give you a lot of information on that the hair on my legs are just blonde so I can't get laser done because your hairs need to be like slightly dark for the laser to pick up on your hairs so I just shave basically if you shave it's a hassle so I would just recommend getting laser and if you don't want to get laser wax talk about lingerie please I feel like a big sister right now and I love it because growing up like I was super shy I wouldn't really want to talk about these things to other people so I would come on YouTube and I would like have specific people that I like watch that literally were my virtual big sisters I would so much rather wear Calvin Klein like boy shorts to bed but sometimes you want to feel a little you know like frisky it's so awkward especially like when you get your first like lacy thong or like lingerie set and you're like so do I throw this in the wash where my mom will see it? But whatever you feel the sexiest or the most comfortable in, do you, like no one's gonna fucking judge you about that. Don't like wear something and feel uncomfortable at, about yourself just because you wanna impress a boy. I think confidence is the best way to impress anybody. Shaving tips for down there. Uh, I think shaving down there is the most uncomfortable slash like problematic area in your whole body. So when I first would shave down there, I would shave like in the direction that the hair grows. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to shave on the opposite side in order to prevent yourself from like cutting yourself or you know getting like razor burns. I recommend exfoliating before you start shaving so that you open up your pores down there. And then also I feel like before you put on your shaving cream, if you put a little bit of conditioner and just wait a little, it also just like makes the shaving act easier. Try to space out the time frames that you shave. Also, this is so TMI, some of y'all need to know. Ladies, when you are shaving, especially for my youngins that watch me, you need to shave down there, but you also need to shave down there back there. This is kind of disgusting. I know people and I've heard of people that did not know they grow hair from certain parts of their bodies just because they can't see it. And then like, they're doing something with a boy and then the boy has to tell them. Grab a mirror, play around with it, be aware of what's happening on your body. 
I'm comfortable with him, but he's experienced and I'm not. What if I'm awful? Any advice? I don't know if it's a myth, but I have heard that like guys kind of like it if the girl is a little inexperienced. So you shouldn't, you know, be like insecure about that. And then the fact that you think you're gonna be awful, first of all, you shouldn't be getting with somebody if you're afraid that they're gonna label you as awful. But if it's just like something that you feel for yourself, nobody is born knowing exactly what to do when they're getting with somebody. Movies that we watch set such high standards and expectations for us, it is definitely not gonna happen like that. Don't be afraid to ask the other person like, what do you like, what feels good? If there is no communication going on, like you can't really expect each other to like get anywhere so just be open with them i got fingered and it hurt and then i realized it bled brown discharge and i'm a little bit scared don't be scared it's so normal especially if it's like your first time like if it keeps going on for like a week and it's like blood then obviously go see a professional but for now like that is normal you do not have to worry how to choose the right friends for yourself you have to give yourself the opportunity to not just hang out with like one person or two people, like expose yourself to as many friendships um, as you can. If you see red flags, don't just ignore them. Always trust your instincts because they are, at least for me, like always true for me. How you know you're hanging out with the right friends is when you're with them, you're having a good time. You don't feel judged by them. When you come home, you don't feel exhausted. Like you shouldn't try to impress your friends. Like your friends should just like you for who they are. Girl, have you tried the cup? If you don't know what the cup is, it's a diva cup and it is a menstrual product. I've never tried it by the way to answer your question. First of all, I have a thing with blood. Like if I see a lot of blood, I just become lightheaded and just either get nauseous or literally faint. Like the first time I got my period, it was a shit show. Like I do not do well with blood. Even though I know it's like the most like eco-friendly, like sustainable way of getting through your period, I would literally just faint every time I got my period. Would you have an abortion? I think if I got pregnant right now, I definitely would get an abortion because your girl's not trying to be a teen mom. I have way too many like career goals that I feel like I need to achieve before I even think about like starting a family. Honestly, I feel like I'm worth so much love, but I'm not getting it from my boyfriend. Girl, I love you. So many girls get treated like shit and then they think they deserve it. And that's what a toxic relationship is. So if you're not getting it from your boyfriend and you've already told him that, there's really no point on staying in a relationship where you're not getting what you deserve. Cutting him off might mean like you're getting rid of the small amount of attention that you are getting from him, but then when you meet somebody new and you're available to meet somebody new and they give you so much more attention, it will be worth the like chunk of time where you didn't have a boy to give you attention. The same person asks, is showing too much affection to your boyfriend bad? How do I get him to do the same? Some people show their love in different ways, but you have to tell that to the person that you're with. Any relationship, communication is the number one thing. You guys are both in this together. That's something that I learned in 2019. If I have something on my mind, I will say it to the other person because keeping it in my mind is getting neither of us anywhere. What do you think about your first kiss? I gave myself a lot of anxiety just because I was like, I'm so old. I was literally 16, like shut the fuck up, you're not that old. Literally it lasts like probably five seconds. So unless it's going really good for you, then you don't have anything to worry about. It's really not gonna matter in like five days. Like you're probably gonna forget about it. And if it goes so bad, just ghost the guy and act like it never happened. And you've gone over your first terrible kiss. How do you overcome insecurities over boob sizes? I literally was flat chested until 11th grade. I never cared. What I would always tell myself is if a guy isn't gonna like me because of my boob size, I don't fucking want him. Peace out. I never liked you in the first place. But it's not always about a guy. Sometimes it's like personal. Ask yourself like, do you care? Or is it because you care because you think other people care? Casual sex question mark. It's so frustrating as a girl that it's okay for guys to be able to do that because they're like players and like cool. And then when a girl does that, it's like she's a whore or a slut. I don't think you should let like society stereotypes have the ability to construct the way that you see yourself. So if you want to go to a bar or a club, or whatever, and you see somebody cute and you want to have a one night stand and then you want to piece the fuck out of there, do it because you don't owe an explanation to anybody and that's it. Keep it casual, man. Haley, I think a lot of girls would be so happy if you could talk a little bit about your nose job. I think it's been quite like a while where I like know exactly how to talk about it and I've talked to other people who've gotten nose jobs so I'm gonna save that for a whole entire video. It's gonna be like nose job 101. Stay subscribed.
birth control birth control comes in so many different forms and if you are trying to stay protected down there and you don't want any little yous running around it's definitely a conversation to have and it is possible for you to get these things without really like even talking to your parents at the end of the day what's important is for you to be able to stay safe so talk to your gyno and figure it out and obviously they're a lot more qualified to give you advice on that i am on birth control and I know people that get on birth control for literally the randomest things. If you're asking about side effects, I was lucky enough to get on like the birth control that works for me like right away. I didn't have to like switch mine and I didn't feel any like crazy side effects. Girls never talk about masturbation and porn and it's time to change that. Even like girls that I'm really close with, like I feel like if I bring it up, you can automatically feel like a tension form in the air. Like I hate that double standard that it's so normal for guys to be able to talk about those things and then when girls talk about those things, it's like weird and like you don't bring it up and it's not ladylike. Why is that? Deep down, everybody wants to talk about these things because you know, they're just not touched on. So people are confused. Everyone's gonna be happy when things are out in the open and there is no confusion or anxiety about these topics. How was your first period? So my first period was in seventh grade. So I sat down, pulled down my pants, and I was like, I got my period. I knew what it was, luckily. I was like, okay, I know exactly what I have to do. Like, I have to go get a pad and put it on my underwear, whatever. As I was wiping and I saw all this blood, I just completely lost control of myself and I blacked out and I actually fell into my bathtub and as I was falling into my bathtub I hit my head on the side of my bathtub and I fainted. Nobody was home except for the lady that would come in and help with the cleaning. I got up, I was like, I literally was like, also like kind of half naked and then as I was walking to my room I just like looked down and then I blacked out again and then I hit my head on the side of my bed and then I literally knocked out for the whole day it was terrible and honestly it didn't really not get better until like six months went by like I just would not look down when I was like going to the bathroom when I was on my period can you have a casual thing with a guy without catching feelings asking for a friend lol uh, if you you guys are both on the same page and you're both like aligned with what you want out of this then possibly I'm having trouble with understanding my sexuality I think it's time for you to think out loud whether it's you know just to yourself or maybe with the person that you trust the most and you trust their opinions so talk to the people like whether it's your mom that you trust the most or your dad or your best friend or your boyfriend like just talk to somebody about it what are your goals for 2020 something I definitely want to focus on is being nicer to people I think I've realized that sometimes I'm the meanest to the people that are the closest to me I'm super nice to strangers like if you're a follower and you have a problem and you come to me like I will help you it's really easy for me to be snappy because I'm like oh these people are so close to me like they're always gonna be close to me like I can say whatever I want to them and another one of my goals which is a little bit more like less deep is to get better at yoga in 2019 by the end of it I realized I really like yoga hopefully I can do the crow pose where you go like that and then you put You know, that one. <laughs> we have come to the end of this video. It's so fun for me to talk about these things. Like I love filming these videos. So if you enjoyed this, you'd want to see more of these, let me know in the comments and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have an amazing rest of your 2020. I love you guys so much all the way to Pluto and back. Bye.